Alrighty, so um, I'm here from Katimovic. I am the participant recruitment assistant at Katimovic currently. Um, and I'm going to share with you all today uh, specifically about our flagship program called the National Experience. Um, but I'll, I'll give you a little bit of uh, history about the organization to, to start with. So Katimovic was founded back in 1977. So we're going on about 45 years now, uh, and it was really founded as a, an organization to bring youth together from all different parts of the country to live together and volunteer together in one home and essentially to, you know, see that we're all not so different after all. And so uh, the program that I'm going to speak to you about today, the National Experience, has as a foundation very much that same uh, set of values. Uh, so uh, the National Experience in its current iteration, it's it's a it's a pretty old program. It's been 45 years uh, going. Right now, it is a five and a half month program, and during that program, uh, we take youth age 17 to 25 years of age. The other criteria is that you'd have to be either a Canadian citizen, a permanent resident of Canada, or have landed refugee status within Canada. Um, <clears throat> And during those five and a half months, you go to two different communities within the country. So in those communities, you live in a Katimovic house with up to 10 other participants, as well as a project leader. So the project leader who lives in the house with you is a Katimovic staff member, and they're there as a connection to that community. Also, you know, in case of any emergencies, they're there as a, as a helpful person within the house uh, to kind of guide the participants and, and help out where they can. <clears throat> So during your time in each community, you do about 30 hours of volunteer work a week uh, with different organizations in that community. So for example, um, in our Calgary house, we have uh, partnered with different organizations like Women in Need Society. Uh, there's a, a, an organization called the Drop-In Center that gets furniture donations and um, gives that to families who are, are uh, starting out in new houses. Um, uh, animal rescues, things like that. So there's lots of different volunteer opportunities and you'd stay with that uh, volunteer organization during your whole about two and a half months in that community. Besides the, the volunteer hours, which obviously take up a lot of your time, about 30 hours a week, it's, it's, a, big, uh, it's a big commitment for sure. So besides the, the volunteer hours, uh, we also give a framework of competencies to our participants that we want them to learn about during the program. Uh, so there's four different categories of those. Those are civic engagement, self-determination, uh, employability, and truth and reconciliation. So under those four categories, we kind of give a, I guess you could say a bullet point list under each one of specific things that we want the participants to develop. Uh, and then the participants take that list and they create activities based around those competencies. Um, however they want to choose to learn about those things, they can do that. So if you want to create activities that are very hands-on, that's great. You can you can do that if you want to maybe set up more of a workshop with a professional in the in the community that can teach you about you know some employability skills, for example. You can do that. So really, we we give that to the participants, and it's quite um, autonomous in that way that that you really get to take the program and and develop it however you see fit uh, as a group as the the participants. So. Beyond those two things, there's the volunteering and the, the competency building. Obviously, you also get to learn a lot of different life skills during the program. Um, you know, some people might be joining the program with uh, it being the first time that they're living in a, in a house, perhaps away from their parents. So you get to, you know, learn how to manage a household, cooking, cleaning, uh, budgeting for groceries, and you're living in a house with up to 10 other people. So you're developing a lot of communication skills as well. Obviously, there's, there's a, you know, some, some tensions perhaps that could arise in situations like that. So you have to navigate those together as a group. Uh, you sit down and have group meetings once a week. So yeah, a lot of a lot of skill building in that way as well. And then I think, you know, one of the main things that that people come out of uh, the program with is obviously these connections with their their group mates, the other participants that they've been living with. You develop these really strong friendships that last for the rest of your life uh, with people that you might not have had the chance to meet otherwise, people from all across the country, um, from different walks of life, different backgrounds. So that's a really, you know, a really powerful thing that people get out of the program as well. 
Uh, so the, the National Experience Program, um, like I said, the only criteria really to, to join the program is the age range, that's 17 to 25 years of age. Uh, and then you'd have to be either a Canadian citizen, permanent resident, or have landed refugee status within Canada. Um, beyond that, the program starts twice a year. So we have a January start date, and then again, uh, a start date in July. And the application process is, is very simple. It's just on our website. Uh, there's an online application that takes probably about 20 or 30 minutes to fill out, depending if you want to write a lot of information on it, it could take a bit longer. Maybe I've heard some people say they've taken a few days to do it, but in general, 20 to 30 minutes and you send us the online application and then we'll set up a phone call with you to, to go over that and, uh, and discuss the program with you. Um, Besides, besides those things that I've mentioned, I think a very, uh, you know, uh, uh, an interesting thing to know, a good thing to know about the program as well, is that it is a fully funded opportunity. So that means that every cost associated with the program, uh, traveling to the first community, to the second community, and then back home at the end of the program, all of your, uh, your food costs, the housing costs, uh, everything within the house that you might need, so soap, shampoos, um, uh, bedding, all these kinds of things, all that stuff is taken care of. So really within those five and a half months, um, you're not, you're obviously, you're not working uh, or making money, but you don't have any, any costs to consider during that time. That's all taken care of for you. And you also get a uh, $25 stipend a week. So uh, a bit of pocket money to go out and get a coffee with your friends, that kind of thing. Um, and uh yeah, I think like that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Uh, I, I'd love to answer any questions that there is. Uh, you do also on paper get a letter of attestation from each volunteer placement that you have in the first community and then again in the second community. And you get um, a, certificate, a certificate of completion from Katimovic as well as just saying that you've, you've gone through the program and you've learned about those competencies. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll hand it off to, to Susie. And uh, yeah, if there's any questions, I don't know if we have a lot of time left, but uh, I'd love to answer any questions that, that people have.